hello everyone today i am going to make another veteran t-shirt design but this time i am not going to use any kind of premium vectors from freepik i am going to make some vectors so i was searching like veteran designs and i found this one this is really good design i mean not this design i am not talking about i am talking about this message this is a really good message and then i found this one this is really good effect so we are going to just combine something together to make a design and for that kind of making that kind of design so we need to do some research like this is the fallen soldier soldier symbol like the boot helmet and their tag so we are going to make this but as you can see they are using that effect here but that is really you can find thousands of images like that but like these images you can take them but they are not free to use like you can see these are uploaded on different stock websites so we just cannot take images like this so we are going to make this and making that kind of designs i am going to search on this png fuel like this splash i am searching I, I, I am taking this one then i am going to take this rifle this army boot you can see these are not any vector images these are actually png images of real things and we are going to make our design from this kind of elements so for that kind of design we really want to make those vectors so how i am making these vectors i am using a software called paint.net i have used this in many of my videos you can see so the way of making this kind of design is let me just open any design like this helmet one i want to work with this so when we are downloading some images from online like the, those websites these are not really transparent background you can see this is really a transparent looking background but this is not real transparent so we can take our magic one tool to click here it will erase the part and now this is really transparent so when it is transparent we are going to use effect and then this multi threshold option you will find this option i gave you all the files of for this image so i'm going to just adjust the threshold level here to make it a complete black shape but i want these symbols to be there so maybe a bit less like this okay that is good for me so once i am satisfied i am going to use my brush tool here and when it is black i can simply paint on some areas that i think it is missing the details so that is it good for it us then again we are going to use this boot image again using multi threshold to make it less or more we can keep some details here like if you we want like the examples i showed but i am going to make it a complete black image and for avoiding this kind of effect here that black effect here just first of all take magic wand click and erase to make it transparent and once it is transparent you can use this multi threshold option and then you can make it a complete black shape then just copy your shape anything you are making then copy paste in illustrator then you can simply trace this to make your own version of this image and then we are going to use this in our design like this one i'm going to use for making this symbol here so that is not needed i need to use this boot here then this this image was like this and i rotated that so i'm going to use that one here just a bit like this maybe okay let me just let me fix here if i select my direct selection tool pressing a then i can select that part and make that one a bit longer because i want this elements the details to be visible like this then a bit bigger maybe just like this that is good for me now i am going to use my helmet here just like this then maybe use it something like that as you can see this is now looking good maybe a bit smaller this one or maybe a bit just like this to hide the area this area from there it should look like it is just similar to this graphics because this is the graphics for a, this is the symbol for a fallen soldier and 
I am making a group here to keep them all together as you can see I am making it a complete silhouette image then I will use this image for this flag effect but for that I need to download a flag image like this then I am searching like US flag HD wallpaper so wallpapers are free to use then I am taking this image from here like that one I am taking from that website wallpaper grape so nothing is actually free to use but we can use them in our design because we are going to make a design that is totally modified not any not anything that is already on internet so that is our image here then i am going to make it a bit smaller like this then i am going to use my this splash effect here maybe a bit bigger in size then cut paste in front okay so when we are using images like this we, you can see that this image is like 92 ppi that means very low resolution if we just make it smaller like this then it will if we are making it bigger the ppi is decreasing if we making it smaller the ppi is increasing and when and once it is more than 300 dpi we can use that image in this size and that is the print resolution like the 300 dpi so i'm going to make it smaller too and then if we select this two then we can simply align them center wise then if i select my make it bigger like this i want to keep this okay maybe a bit smaller this one i want to keep the star and this patterns together so i'm going to make them a select them them together and once my graphic is on top image is on below i can select them to make a clipping mask so it is asking me to make a clipping mask like this okay before that there is a lots of tiny details inside this graphic here this one you can see so for fixing that problems we need to first of all select our image that select our graphic here the, this black shape then go to object compound path make it will become a one single compound path for everything that is inside here and i think i don't need these areas so i'm just erasing the, those because this is that is not important but that is inside our design area our flag area so that is good for us now once this is a compound path we can select them both and then we can make clipping mask you can see that is now that now worked so that is going to be the graphic of our design here then we can keep that like keep that one like there and as you can see there is a lots of details that is left from our that black shape but that is not a problem because we wanted a splatter effect like this and that we get from this option then i'm going to select them and erase them i don't need them anymore okay so the main design part begins from here as i keep telling you guys that work on text effect or work on typography because when we are using some vectors in our design this is really hard to and we are using some premium vectors some good vectors but we are, our typography our text work is not good then the design is not going to look very professional so what is the text placement or text effect i keep telling you to follow that is the way how the, how you are presenting your text that is the text effect or text placement so we need to make this good then our else everything else in our design will look good so we are going to use this this is the going to be the focus point of my t-shirt design and this better and text so let's first use a bolder looking western font maybe go everywhere okay go everywhere we used in our previous video so i'm going to maybe use here roper serif roper serif i feel like this font very much you can find that font just search on google so this is going to be the center point of my design i'm going to break my font here because i don't need that to be act like a font and then if i double click here i can select them individually so i'm going to make it a bit bigger this part a bit bigger and then this part also a bit bigger then maybe just align them together so that it is a same size font 
just like this and once we are done we need to select everything here then we can click on this icon here horizontal distribute space it will fix the spacing between them and that is good actually that is good for me this is going to be the center point of my text so i am going to use my this graphic here in this area somewhere like this but i don't want that too much that much bigger to be just like this so i am selecting this two then aligning them center wise and let's see where it is placing the center okay so i think this h we can just take off this h from here and we can just place our this vector inside this area because that is going to be our main focus point of this design that is the like the symbol of veterans fallen soldiers so i'm going to make a offset path for my graphics to make it stand out just a bit bigger like this then cut and then as this is a group i can select that use my transparency to paste in front okay i don't really like to explain this transparency in every video but i do and then still i get request how to use transparency okay that is not a problem so once that is placed i am going to make them a group just like this so as i told you this is going to be my focus text also another focus text so i am going to use that font again for my veteran text then i need to the text placement that i keep talking about let's use some text placement because i am going to use make it a circular looking design so i am placing that center wise then i am taking this veteran text here then if i take my type on path tool then just click on this center point what is the center point of my this ellipse here just try to click on that point it will be easier for us to work then paste once we are pasting that we can see that this is looking a bit bigger but we can simply make it smaller like this so that is going to be the main focus text of our design that is good to be there then we need to copy paste in front then we have two different copy of that text and we are going to use this one a bit smaller just like this to use my <coughs> this text here maybe norwester is a good font Norwester, I'm going to use this font here then in capital because everything here is going to be in a semi style then cut that one if I double click here it will be selected then paste as you can see that is now pasted and if we centerize it it will be on a center point but that is a bit bigger for us just to just making it a little bit is smaller like this so veteran is a is a part of our design then don't thank me we need to add thank my brothers that is going to be the part here so as we put a design a vector inside our design so i'm going to take this two here i'm going to make it this in this font because i want to keep a balance in my design like this one is in that font so okay maybe this one also in this font because we don't have enough space just like this then i am going to use this one right here maybe a bit smaller than this one here so this is going to be a okay we could have used that one in this side but i don't want to put anything on that side I'm going to just make it like as it is now so you can see this is now the first part is done done then we need to use our second part here who never came back so I'm going to copy this one ctrl C ctrl F to paste in front then I'm going to use my this anchor point to turn it opposite side just like this then if we just click on this text pick eyedropper to make that on that font cut that and then double click here paste in paste there ctrl v as you can see this is not looking very good and this is overlapping my vector here so i am going to 
change the base point of my design like this then when you are changing the base point it is becoming a little bit more space between the text here so i'm going to decrease the space from here just like this until it is looking good for me that is good now i am going to select my this veteran text here copy paste in front then again use this anchor point to turn that opposite just like this then we are going to use this text here again picking eyedropper click here to make it that font size but you can see there is a lots of less space in this text and here is a bit more space between the text but that is good i will fix that let's cut then if i select my this veteran text here i can simply double click inside this area and then paste you can see that is again the same problem overlapping my elements so i'm going to change the base position right here like this then i need to fix the inner space between them okay as you can see this is now looking better than before but i need to make this one a bit bigger because my comeback text is a bit bigger but this one is a bit smaller so i'm going to make it a bit okay some more less space between them maybe that is good for me now as you can see this is the final graphic <coughs> for my this design here going to be the final graphic for my this design so i don't think this two font is looking very good there if i remove that don't thank me thank my brothers who never came back okay this area is good as and i want to use this graphics inside the area then cut paste in back it will be pasted on in the back side like that i can fill this area <coughs> just like this then i have to again place my this to text but i don't know where it will look good okay maybe just use them somewhere like this thank my brothers but that is again overlapping my boot okay let's keep it here and look let's take a look how it is looking so once this is the position of my text and everything here then i have some extra space in these areas so that we can fix like we can take our elements to make that area fix like we can take that gun paste it here then again make it a silhouette image like this then i'm going to use it something like this so that this area i can just fill it with something some elements this is really up to you guys how you can wa how you want to place your graphics how you want to make it feel that is your that is your choice so this is overlapping my b text there and i don't want that so maybe this one a bit in distance just like this then i am going to use this text again okay this graphic again then make it maybe rotate in this way so that it can fill that area also just make everything inside a certain area that is the main motive of my every design to keep everything in a closer place so that i can fill the areas with that okay now as you we can see this is the main graphic of my design i am placing some ruler here so that i can fix the areas that is going outside of my graphic here so these are really good they are not going out but this area is a bit problem so i'm going to make it smaller then i can simply place it with the ruler here then again this one is a bit bigger so i'm going to place it inside okay as you can see when we are making this kind of designs it will not erase any part of your like it is not going to waste your area of printing that is the reason i keep doing this kind of adjustment okay guys so this is now looking really good for me now i need to 
make it visible like this brothers and this helmet with rifle vector is not looking good okay once we are satisfied with the position i am going to break the fonts here because that are those are going to be some problems for me now i need to select everything that is inside our area here like this then click shift press shift and click here to deselect that that vector okay maybe i can just fix the position something just to fill it in a bigger space okay that is good for me now i am going to select everything then shift and click here to deselect that one you can see my everything my every graphic is now selected then i am going to make a offset path for that that much is a bit smaller so 20 point will look good okay then i need to make it unite so that it becomes a single shape that is good then cut once it is in our clipboard i can select this this flag graphic here then use the transparency of that open click paste in front that will paste it in in front in top of that graphics and you can see uh, that those areas are being cut out and this is now really visible through my flag here so that is the main point of my design here then i am going to make this one take the select this one maybe make it a bit that one i am going to make a make this red then this one make this white and these two graphics i am going to make it make them red also like this then in this area i need to make it like white maybe but i want to know that how it will look on black because this is going to be a design for a black shirt Control B to paste in black. Now, as you can see, this black, this red is not that exact red, so that is now good. Okay, as you can see, we have two fonts here that we didn't break, and they are now not visible. So I'm going to again make a offset path for them, just like this. Cut, select my graphic here, open the transparency, paste in front. You can see that is now done but it is not looking good because these text are also in black so i'm going to make them white now those are visible okay so for this area this is not looking good because this is in black so i need to double click here then i can select this text group here group here so i'm going to make it white maybe because there is a lot of red in our design already and then the once that is white we can select our these graphics to make it red okay guys so this is how it is going to be look like or maybe if we just cut this that one that flag effect it is looking better than before maybe but i want to keep that flag because that will give it a look like a flag look a patriotism look better and look so i, I make the made the opposite 50 percent so that it doesn't look like the like too much busy here so as you can see this is good now i have some extra little space here i'm just going to use my star tool here to make a star like this then i need to make it okay first of all i need to make it like a, a straight line like this then a copy here then ctrl d to make another copy and if i select this three i can simply align them center wise then i can make it white and that is a group i can make then if i place them like this it will cover my this area just like this okay guys so this is the final graphic for me for this video i just wanted to share with you guys how to make this kind of vectors using png images as we are not going to draw them so this is the easiest way of drawing images like taking png images then make vectors from them and there is no copyright for using them like this and of course the flag effect how you can make that kind of splatter flag effect for your design so thank you everyone thank you for being with me 
i hope this one gave you some idea guys how to work on this kind of designs and if you really enjoyed this one then keep supporting me see you in the next video guys thank you have a great time